everyone, this is Yolanda from the Opcast channel and in today's tutorial we're going to learn how to do this Christmas stocking. I got a lot of requests for this Christmas stocking and I know some of you were having trouble figuring out the heel. So I'm going to show you how I do it to make it easier. Uh, this is just done with a medium weight yarn and the only thing, you could do these with different colors, whatever color you want. Just make sure that your toe, it usually looks better if the toe and the heel have the same color. I did one with red and white just so that it could kind of pop up more. And then I just a little tag to hang up. Sorry, I'm having to hold the camera here and try not to let it move too much. So I hope you'll enjoy this, this tutorial. Please be sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and let's get the party started. Okay, I want to begin. I'm going to be using an eye hook, which is a number 9. It's 5.5 millimeters. You're going to need a yarn needle. I don't like using the plastic ones, so I use these metal ones. Use whichever one you like. You're going to need your new scissors. Something to measure with, um, either uh, in inches or uh, centimeters, whichever you like to measure. And then you're going to need... Um, uh, at least two colors. You could make your stocking stripe with different colors, but uh, usually what I do is that I make the heel and the toe the same color. So for this one, to keep it simple, I'm just going to use two colors. I'm going to use a red and a white. So my toe and my heel would both be made out of the white color. And if I put a cuff, I also do the cuff out of white. And then the main part of the stocking I'm going to do with the red. If you want to do stripes like you know different colors you can do that. You can make your heel and your toe green whatever colors you want but just remember that your whole your toe and the heel should be the same color and it keeps it matching and then you can do stripes whatever you want. So to begin I'm going to be using a medium weight yarn. Um, this I'm happy to, happening to use the Super Saver in this color called Cherry. They have other colors. And then I'm using the Super Saver in the Soft White. Um, but you can use any brand, any one you want, as long as it's a medium weight. To begin then here, I'm going to be making uh, my little loop to get started. And you are going to begin by doing uh, making 41 chains. Remember the chain. We, to do our chain, this is the loop, so that's not the chain. We yarn over, meaning we wrap our yarn around our hook, and then we pull through, and that is our chain. You're going to make 41 of these chains. So go ahead and do your 41 chains, and then we'll come back and start to do our the leg of the stocking. Okay, I've done my 41 chains. So here on the second chain from the hook, right here, I'm going to do a single crochet. Remember, this loop does not count as a chain. So here's one and two. To do the single crochet, all you're going to do is put in your hook without yarning over. That means you don't wrap anything around your hook. You're going to go into the second chain right there. Now you grab your yarn. You're going to have two little loops of yarn on your hook and you're going to pull through both of them. That's going to be your first single crochet and you're going to do one single crochet in every chain across. You should have 40 single crochets at the end of your row just like that. So go ahead and do all your 40 chains and then we'll come back and start working on our next um, row. Just like that all the way across. Okay I've come to the end of my first row so now we're going to join this. Um, you're going to get this just like this Kind of, let me see if I could go back here so you could see what I'm doing. So you're just going to grab it, work it this way to make sure it does not twist. You're going to bring over this side and now you're going to slip stitch into that first chain. Not into that first chain, excuse me, the first stitch right there, okay? And now here we slip stitch there and our round is joined. Then later on we're going to sew this, you know, attach the bottom side. This way just it's easier to make sure you don't twist it. So now it should just be smooth like this. Now we're going to make several, you're going to make your rows of uh, double crochet here until your piece measures about nine and a half inches or so. Nine and a half to ten inches. So here I'm going to chain three, one, two, and three. And then for the here now 
into that same stitch there I'm going to double crochet just like that one double crochet in every stitch until you go all the way around okay so remember double crochet you yarn over you go in here pull out there'll be three loops one and then the second one so you're going to go all the way around when you finish this one here your double crochet then we're going to slip stitch into the third chain one two three and we'll repeat round two until our piece measures uh it's really your up to you but it's, i do it between nine and a half to ten inches and so here i'm going to go all the way around and then we'll slip stitch on the third chain here okay i finished my last stitch so now here one two three i'm going to slip stitch into the third chain just like that and now we're going to repeat row two until our piece measures between nine and a half to ten inches depending on how long you want it so here one two three double crochet and every stitch around so now you're just going to repeat the same thing here when you get to the last stitch here you're going to double crochet and then slip stitch into the third chain you're going to repeat till this piece um, from here from the beginning to the end it measures either nine and a half to ten inches okay i'm quite, probably going to do mine to about nine and a half inches here to nine and a half inches and then we'll come back and then we'll start working on the heel and don't worry i'll show you how to do the heel so that it's easy and it looks really nice okay i came to my last stitch here if i measure my piece measures that 10 inches there and you can do it nine and a half if you want so here i'm going to slip stitch into the third chain one two three just slip stitch into there okay and then our last row here of the leg part is going to be with one single crochet into every stitch so here i just chain one and then i go into that next stitch there one single crochet in every stitch and when i get to the end when i do this single crochet i'm going to slip stitch into that first uh, first stitch and then I'm going to fasten off so this is the last row for the leg portion of the stocking so go ahead and just work one single crochet all the way around when you get to the end here you're going to slip stitch in here and then we're going to fasten off then we will work on the heel together so go ahead and do your one stitch and we'll come back and work on the heel so now once you finish that the stock this is the leg part okay of the stocking and now let me bring this light a little bit closer so that it could give me a little bit more light here so now here i want you we're going to move to the white um you could do it any color you want but remember you want the heel and the toe to be the same color you could even make these like change colors every few stripes the uh the only thing is we're going to do is that the heel and the toe should be the same color so that they can match okay but you can make them different colors if you like that just depends on what um how you like to work it so here well, we're going to attach the white just going to make a little loop here and you, I'm going to be working these tails in but you don't if you don't want to you don't have to you could just put them to the inside because it's not going to show so here is where I finished the three chains were going up so from here this is the first stitch there because remember the three counts so I'm going to I'm going to count from here to the from the left to the right so here's one two three four five six and seven I want you to put your hook there into the seventh one. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So now I'm going to attach my yarn there. Get my white yarn. And I'm going to pull it through here. Oops, sorry guys. I just lost the loop here. Okay, when I start getting tired, I'm like, oh, okay. So here I'm going to chain one and then in the same stitch where I attached here and I chained one, I'm going to go back in here and I'm going to do a single crochet. So that is my first stitch. Okay. I'm going to be using, um, okay. So here now I'm going to do a single crochet in each of the next 13, including this first stitch. We're going to have 14 single crochets. And you could tie your tail in there or you could just let it fall. It's up to you. So here's two. So that's here's one, two, three, four, 
five. Oops, let me see if you get here closer. I can't really see very well what I'm doing. There, so here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's going to be here. It's a little hard to get it in there, but seven. And the next stitch, eight, nine, that, ten, eleven. I'm going to count these, cut these off now. Twelve, thirteen. And 14 okay so you have 14 single crochet stitches there let me count them to make sure 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 and 14 now we're going to be doing decreases until we end up with only four stitches single crochets let me move these little tails so here I'm going to go chain one I'm going to turn my work over okay and we're going to decrease over the next two stitches so here's one and two remember that's our first chain this is a stitch so i'm going to go in here go in there one go into the next stitch there so you have three loops you're going to go through both of those and now i'm going to do one single crochet in every stitch across when i get to the two last stitches i'm going to do a decrease on that side too okay let me pull this out so let me work to the end and when I get to the last two stitches I will do a decrease here in my last two I will do a decrease in there into my last stitch pull through all both of those and that is a decrease that's going to be our second row okay Okay, now I'm going to go up to row three, and remember, I'm going to continue. Oh, my little row counter fell off here. I'm going to continue working this way a decrease in the first two and a decrease over the last two until I have only four stitches left, and it's going to make start shaping it kind of like a little um, pyramid, okay? Ch chain one, turn around, single crochet, uh, decrease, single crochet two together, the first two. So here's going one. Go into the next one, pull through all those three. And now I'm going to single crochet in all of them. The last two I will have a decrease as well. So here we go. Single crochet all the way across. And this is going to end up like a little pyramid kind of. See? Four. Okay, here's my last two decrease here one go into the next one three on the loop decrease just like that I'm going to continue in the same way until I have only four stitches four single crochets left just like that all the way across and you can see that it's starting to shape it like a little um, pyramid or triangle whatever you want to call it and now here and then a decrease over the last two. One, two, go there. So repeat this same stitch, the same pattern, chain one, decrease over the first two, single crochet in each stitch across, and then decrease over the last two. Continue this until you only have four stitches. Right here I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm gonna have to do it a few more rows. Okay, I'm coming here to my last two and that is the four stitches remember that little when you come to the end sometimes there's like a little stitch that goes across sideways that way that's a cha that's a chain one that's not the stitch so here we have finished the stitches for the first part of the shaping of the heel so it goes up like that kind of like a pyramid without the top 
Now what we're going to do here is now we're going to start increasing in the first stitch and then the last stitch until we end up with 14 stitches again, okay? Uh, I know it doesn't make sense, but it will right now. So we're going to chain one, we're going to turn our work over, and then here in our first stitch, I'm going to do two single crochets. So I'm going to have an increase in the beginning. Here's one and two. And then I'm going to have one single crochet in each stitch. And then in the last stitch, I'm going to have an increase again, two in there. So here's one. In the next one, one. There. And then in our last stitch here, I'm going to do two single crochets. So it's an increase in the beginning and an increase in the end. And these stitches went in this way. Now these are going to go like out like that, okay? So it's going to be like an upside down little pyramid. So now we do chain one turn around see if we can make this a little clearer guys sorry about this i'm trying to keep the light from kind of oh, i still need a helper so i chain one and then in my first stitch two one two now one single crochet in every stitch across and then two single crochets in the last stitch two three, four, and then two in the last stitch. One and two. Now I'm going to chain one, turn my work over. I'm going to continue making my uh, increases until I have 14 stitches. So here's one, and that's my second one. So there's two there. So two here and two in the last stitch, one single crochet in each one. So you're gonna continue this until you have 14 stitches across, 14 single crochets. And see here you could see that now, first we went in and now we're going out. So continue doing your increases like this, like I've done, until you have your 14. So I'm gonna go come finish this until I have 14 stitches with an increase in the beginning and an increase in the end. Remember, two double crochets in the first stitch, two double, two, excuse me, two single crochets in the first stitch, two single crochets in the last, and one in between. So now here it's starting to shape the opposite. I'm going to go ahead and finish this. When I have my 14 stitches, we'll come back. Okay, I finished my last row. I have 14 stitches here. And as you could see, it kind of went like that shape I was telling you. So here now, I have my 14. I'm going to cut my yarn, and I'm going to fasten off, okay? And that tail we can work out um, later on here. So now here, we are going to get, what we're going to do is that we're going to fold this over, and you're going to sew these ends. So if you fold it over, you should have, it should match up here. 14 and 14 okay so here I'm going to get a piece of yarn I'm going to cut it off of uh, the matching yarn you want it to be matching I'm going to get my needle and I'm going to thread it up okay in order to shape the sock I think it's easier to sew it first and then do uh, attach the heel to the toe to the foot so um, sometimes they tell you to crochet at first and then do the decreases I think that's more complicated so my model is simplify and make it fun so this is the right side the side inside is the wrong side okay so we want to sew these together so what I'm going to do is if you have a safety pin you could also use a safety pin you're going to bring in it is you can start on this side or this side it doesn't matter this is how I shape it and uh, sew it it's going to be so easy this way you're going to be like oh now I get it so here is our first row here is our last row we want to match these up there see like that so if you want to I'm going to get the stitch marker I'm going to put it through that first row there and then my last row here if you want to sometimes these stitch markers fall off so it might be easier to use um, a safety pin totally up to you so you could start on either side I'm just going to start here you can sew it from the inside here or from the outside I'm going to show you from the inside the first one and that way you could see what I'm doing here these are joined there I'm going to get my yarn 
I'm going to sew them just like if this was a sweater or any other piece. So let me see if I could get a little bit closer so you could see what I did. I matched my first row and my last row there. I'm going to go through both of these just like that. See that? Maybe I'm not, am I clear enough? Sorry guys. I'm going to sew this. I wish this had an automatic focus so that when I go in, back and forward it would do it. I'm going to tie my knot. I'm not going to worry about hiding that tail because I'm inside. So here, now I've lined these up. You're going to get these here. Let me do that if you could see it. This is closed. This is open. But here we're going to go through these stitches and you're going to sew it up. And this will be the easiest heel you've ever done. You could also just, you could also close it like when we're shaping a sock. The reason I didn't do that is because this thread is this uh, not thread this um, yarn is so thick it might leave a bulky area. So when you do socks, it's very similar to this except that I would close it with actual crocheting instead of sewing it. Let me get this. Oh gosh. So can you see that I'm sewing this? And then I'm just lining them all up. Just make sure you go through both edges, okay? I'm going to remove the stitch marker here because now I'm at the end. Let me take this here. So that's the last one. See, you can see how I've sewn this. Now here's my needle. I'm going to go through there. Close up my last stitch. Uh-oh. I'm going to sew this one to the last one, just like that, see? So now you see that that is sewn together. I'm going to get this, sew it there. Okay. So that side is sewn there. Now I'm going to go ahead and make a little knot. I'm working on the inside part here. Just trying to grab it. Uh oh, that's a little too long, I think, the yarn. So I'm just going to go through there. Make a little knot. I think I did my knot on uh, my yarn too long. And then I'm going to just hide this tail in here because I don't want it to be hanging out when I'm going to be working on that other side. So there, I'm just going to cut this off. So that side, okay, so that side is sewn. We're going to do the same thing to the other side. So here, this little tail might get in my way. I might actually just try to, I'm going to just try to move it out of the way. I don't want to get caught. So here now, where's my little stitch marker? Oh, here it is. I'm going to go do the same thing. Go into that first stitch here, that first post. Go into the last one here. And I have a feeling that little tail might get in the way. So we have it there. Here's my yarn on my needle. This one, I did it shorter because remember it's starting to knot the other way. I'm going to start here at the top and work down. You could start from the bottom and work up. It's up to you. So here, once again, make my knot. And got that there. And I'm going to sew this shut just like I did the other one. Go through both of your little edges here. Sew them shut. Just line them up as best as you can. Remember, this is not a garment. It's just a decoration. So the thing is to have fun and get it done. Get my next stitch here. Coming to the bottom. Let me move the stitch marker there and then I want to go through my last stitch here to this post and my last one there. Get that closed. Just kind of tug on it. I think I'm going to use this little tail here to sew here and then okay somebody's calling me in the house. So here I'm going to go ahead and hide this tail because I don't want it ha falling out when I'm working on the other side. Right there. And now I'll do the other side. Hide this tail. 
and our heel is basically shaped. This is the easiest way that I found to do it. There's other ways that they tell you to do it differently, but I think it's more confusing when you're leaving that to show, sew it to the end. So here, both sides are sewn. When you pop it out, ta-da! There's the heel! See how easy that was? It's a lot easier than... Some of the instructions are kind of confusing. So there's our heel. Now we're going to attach our foot part here. The only important thing is, because remember I told you you could make this in stripes or you could do more than one color. Now when you attach this part here, you're going to make sure, because sometimes I do these with white, green, blue, whatever, you know, like different colors here, white, green, red. So what I do here is to make sure that whichever the last color was here, where you attached, you're going to use the same color for your last row, okay? So we're going to go ahead and I, I like to get mine where here's the heel. I'm going to turn it there and I'm going to attach my yarn and then we'll start attaching the, the toe, excuse me, the heel with the foot part and then we'll do the toe. 